Greetings, you jungle creepers. I hope you're doing well. My name is Graham, and welcome to the Crack a Pack here on LRRMTG. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Today, we are opening this pack of Rivals of Ixalan that was given to us by Brett at C2, sorry, Brett H at C2E2 in Chicago. And I'm glad we wrote this down. This is the first pack he ever won from FNM. Thanks, Brett. That's very cool. Let's see what's inside it. I've been bad at doing the ASMR recently. Really making up for it there. All right. First up, Mist Cloaked Herald. It's a single blue for a 1 1 Merfolk Warrior, and it can't be blocked. So that's nice. You could do things with the Merfolk deck in this format. You could do. You could put counters on Merfolk and pump your Merfolk and stuff. And sometimes you ran a Merfolk Herald, Mist Cloaked Herald. You didn't, you know, weren't like thrilled about it, but you could. Swaggering Corsair is next. It's two and a red for a 2 2 human pirate with raid. Swaggering Corsair enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it if you attacked with a creature this turn. I liked raid. Raid was, uh, you know, it, was, it encouraged games to end, right? It really enticed people into attacking. So, I I enjoyed Exelon, honestly. Pirates, merfolk, vampires, dinosaurs, and whatever the other tribe was. Humans? Was it humans? I can't remember. Sanguine Glorifier. Also, this set's brought us Colossal Dreadmaw. So, you can't say Exelon was bad, because obviously... Colossal Dreadmon. What was I talking about? Sanguine Glorifier. Three and a white for a 3-3 Vampire Cleric. When it enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on another target vampire you control. For the Legion of Dusk, the Immortal Sun is a source of eternal life. When they reclaim it, they will no longer be forced to subsist on the blood of the wicked. Interesting. Is it only the blood of the wicked? Couldn't it just be anyone's blood? Also, who says? Who's the who who says who's wicked? Is it you? Is it the one who needs the blood? Seems to me like you'd be awfully incentivized to say anyone handy is wicked, so you can have their blood. Hmm. Mm. From my position, the vampires are evil. <laughs> uh, um, Crashing Tide is next. It's two and a blue for a sorcery. It has flash as long as you control a merfolk. Return target creature to his owner's hand. Draw a card. Yes. Good old uh, that card. I can't remember the name of it. Two and a blue sorcery do a thing. But this one could be Flash if you have a, a merfolk. So that's cool. Knight of the Stampede. Three and a green for a 2-4 human knight. Dinosaur spells you cast cost two less to cast. Good little pickup for the dinosaur deck. Also, it is a human. I think it was humans in green-white. I think that was the other tribe. Goblins were around as well, but I don't think they were like a marquee tribe for this set. Anyway, Knight of the Stampede uh, did good work. Wasn't amazing, but you know, hey, a 2-4 for 4 blocks nicely, so. Recover! 2 and a black for a sorcery, return target creature, card from your graveyard to your hand, and draw a card. I, I just like effects like this, in limited especially. I just, things like this, getting the creatures back, it's good stuff. <gasps> I spoke her name and she appeared. It's Colossal Dreadmaw. I mean, we all know, but I'll go through it anyway, just so everyone's on the same page. It's four green green, four, say it with me now, a six six with trample. Quote, remember when it was the most terrifying thing you'd ever seen, says Captain Lannery Storm. Terrifying? No, 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 we must respect the Colossal Dreadmaw. In this house, more Colossal Dreadmaws, please. Luminous Bonds is next, two and a white for a creature enchantment, and the creature cannot attack or block. Yeah. Love to have a good Luminous Bonds in draft. Dark Inquiry is two and a black for a sorcery. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-land card from it. That player discards that card. Sure. Fine. Unexciting. Soul of the Rapids. This one did some work in Limited. Three blue blue for a 3-2 flyer with hexproof. It's five mana, but Hexproof meant it it generally got in for some damage if you were in a position where you didn't need to sit back to block some merfolk. 
<laughs> which sometimes you did. Speaking of moisture, it's Flood of Recollection. Blue, blue for a sorcery. Return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Exile, Flood of Recollection. This is a story spotlight. One of three. Jace tumbled down the waterfall and plunged deep into his past. With Jace remembering to, to being Jace. Jace. Jace, for a while, for those who weren't around for the Ixalan story, Jace briefly forgot how to Jace and then fell in love with a Gorgon and uh, then remembered how to Jace all at once, pictured here. <laughs> so we see art of a, of a man remembering too much. It's very much like that embarrassing thing you did in high school with the mage rings. Oh no. Next we have Golden Demise. One black black for a sorcery with Ascend. Uh, which is a reminder. <laughs> Ascend was if you control 10 or more permanents, you get the city's blessing for the rest of the game. And then certain cards did a different thing if you had the city's blessing. Like this one, all creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. If you have the city's blessing, instead, only creatures your opponent controls get minus two, minus two until end of turn. Golden Demise was actually pretty good, if I recall correctly. There's a lot of creatures larger than that, but hey, you know, it kills that soul of the rapids, gets around hexproof. Vraska having a great time turning people to gold for a change of pace. Aquatic incursion. Aquatic? Farcical aquatic ceremony? Three and a blue for an enchantment. When aquatic incursion enters the battlefield, create two 1-1 one, one merfolk creature tokens with hex proof. So that kind of takes the edge off spending four mana for an enchantment. Also, for three and a blue, target merfolk can't be blocked this turn. So it's four mana and you get two one ones with hexproof and then another four mana and one of those one ones can't be blocked. So uh, you could pick it up late. <laughs> let's say <laughs> kindly, let's just let's put it that way. You could pick this card up late. We got a vampire token, it's got lifelink, we got a forest, and our rare is Ba 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 Bwa Vona's Hunger. I do not remember this card. Two and a black, instant with a sand! <clears throat> each opponent sacrifices a creature. Okay. If you have the city's blessing, instead, each opponent sacrifices half the creatures they control rounded up. Yeah, all right. That seems like that's probably worth ascending before you cast it. Hmm. Okay. I mean, edicts do good work. Well, I mean, what do I first pick that isn't Colossal Dreadmaw? The pack overall is worth about 345. Uh, Vona's Hunger is most of that at 218, because apparently it's not bad. I would probably take that, honestly. I don't think I've ever had an opportunity to play with it. You're not wheeling Golden Demise, probably. You might. I don't remember much about drafting this format now that I think about it, except for all the hilarious anecdotes I've already peppered throughout this episode. I don't remember things I said 10 seconds ago. I'll take the Vonus Hunger uh, and, uh, you know, the, the Colossal Dreadmaw can be my gift to the draft table. We'll go with that. Uh, hey, thanks, Brett, for sharing with us the first pack you ever won at Friday Night Magic. We were at C2E2 uh, some years ago at this point, so I'm sorry that you had to wait so long to see what was in it. But hey, Vonus Hunger. Noise. Until next time, I have been Graham, uh, James is on tech, Matt edits these, and Heather gets them online, and you all support us directly and all the things we do at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun. Woo! Uh, if you want to send us a pack, we have an address to do that, and you can also look at our store and other stuff also if you wish to further engage beyond just leaving a comment or being here. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>